So, Doug, it's great to see you in person. Usually we just talk on the phone. I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Are you exhausted? But wait, there's good. more to come for you. <laughs> there's more to come. Your exhaustion has just begun. Wow, well, wait, he can't speak Frank again, so let's speak for him. That's the most important thing. Let's change our community for a good cause. We, we have a good committee and we are strong and, and we're, we're on the move a year later. It's okay. very moving. So let's, let's talk about uh, why you're here today, what you brought you here today is obviously a tragedy that uh, happened on July 20th of last year regarding your friend Frankie Benacci who was just 24 years of age and uh, was murdered. So it, it, instead of uh, seeing all the, the negatives and awfulness of this, you're turning this into a, a positive and, and reaching out to the community. And I think that there's nothing better than that. No, definitely, Sue. And I, I'm just, the whole community has gotten by this like I've never seen before. I'm, I'm really just, I just want to thank everyone as a community. They're backing this 100%. As you can see, the t-shirts are full with sponsors. But how about this, Sue? The day that we waited for him all night, 30 people, I, I'm, I, oh, this is tough, is the day of the race that you'll see 500 people with bandanas and orange shirts. It's got to be the most moving situation to occur in our county. It, it's got to be. And uh, having all of the DAs involved, having everybody invited to just let's change as a community, speak for one voice against violence. It has to be the most moving, you know, I'm here all my life, and it has to be the most, part of me says it has to be the most moving place to be at Nayog Park on that morning. Okay, so this is on a Sunday, the event, mm -hmm. just to recap, is Frankie's Voice Bandana 5K Run and Walk, so if you want to take it easy, that's fine, if you want to come out and and uh, let loose and use up some of your energy you can do that too now park the race starts at nine you have a registration at seven in the morning right yeah registration and registration is 25 dollars. you can just step up and we'll put a, a, a bib on you and a little chip or you can just walk and we have some music and we have just a lot of things for the kids and so i just want want to thank you and, and thank your radio station for just letting us speak this strong strong voice here through you channeling through you well it, it's it's uh, your your event and, and your efforts that have uh, made this possible Doug but uh, the community coming together to do something positive over something that hurt them so much is is, is a great tribute to uh, to Frankie and uh, justice has been served in the last year which I guess is uh, the other uh, m uh, most thankful component of this is that uh, there, there has been um, a, a fair hearing of the evidence against those that were involved and it is time for the community to uh, look forward to, to the future and what will the proceeds of, of this go to? I know it's it's uh, towards uh, non-violence and, and peace but it's specifically how will this be handled? And this will be handled and, and we have a great treasury team and everything's overseen. It's Marley's Mission who's been very very active in it and the Children's Advocacy Center and also Frankie's Voice. So it's, it's split three ways and uh, I got to know the agencies a little bit. One I got to know really great was with the horses and learning from Marley's mission. That is, what they do up there is just, you know, astounding. So we really wanted to pick these agencies and have the proceeds, all of the proceeds to go. Keep in mind, our basket community has been 42 baskets, so we gotta make sure and raffle them off quickly. But, you know, keep in mind, it is, it's all for a good cause. It's all for charity and, uh, the Children's Abbey Center is uh, a fantastic, again, and Marley's mission and also Frankie's voice. So they'll be split three ways through. We selected these agencies uh, because it kind of coincides with the violence. It, it's what, I, you know, I said in a lot of meetings, we took our time in picking these agencies. We just didn't go to a hat or something or go in the yellow pages. And we visited the agencies and we, we came up with these three agencies. Yeah, and they help uh, kids in the community uh, very, in a very uh, demonstrated and specific way. So I'm glad you chose them too. They have a wonderful oversight and they are fabulous for our community. And they have uh, two distinctly different things that they do, which is nice. So, uh, do you have a, a website you want to direct people to? Or yes, you can like go that? to uh, Frankie's Voice uh, on our Facebook page. Okay. That's the most uh, important uh, place you can go to, Frankie's Voice, and I'll have all the information there. And the Sign Me Up has closed already for online, but uh, online registrations, but you can register that day. And uh, we got some awesome, awesome orange shirts. We'll be glaring with orange at Nayak Park, and we put bows on every, for three miles, bows on every tree, every walkway through Nayak Park. So, Sue, 
it is moving that the public knows that this is going on for a great cause and, and the community is just so excited about it. There are a lot of, a lot of people are going to come out and have some fun. And uh, I just want to say through all this, um, you know, that Frankie Bonacci's family has really, you know, backed everything 100% and, and it's, it's tragic on all ends. And uh, I'm just glad that we could put something positive and, and uh, put a little of my energy because mm -hmm. I'm ready to jump. I can tell. So uh, <laughs> before I let you go, why yes. why'd you choose the orange? Uh, that was Frankie's favorite color, orange. Okay. From day one, uh, that was Frankie's favorite color, and we chose that, and, and it works out great. So I have some little orange sneakers on, but uh, I'll be. Uh, <laughs> I do. Yes. You verify that, so I can and, verify uh, that. Uh, but I, I think overall, just how about the energy, Sue, on that morning, Sunday morning, July twentieth, especially the day of the tragic event. So every step is a step against violence. Let's get out there to community. When you're running or walking, think about that. Every step goes. A step towards against violence. You are every person there is, has something to add to our community in positive way. Thanks, Sue. Thank you. Boy, you knew it was time to go, huh? And oh, then yes. we have to go to the news with Paul on WIL Cable. We thank Doug for stopping by and uh, go to the Facebook page.